Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Adam, in case y'all didn't know. Um, I am. Some of you do know this. I am the owner of a company, medium-sized company called Raptor Tech, based out of Ohio. We have several divisions. One of those divisions is courier delivery. So we deliver e-commerce purchases, packages in multiple states. Uh, majority of my staff is black. I, I believe in, you know, making sure we cover our own, you know, make sure they get jobs, make sure they get opportunities. And I pay them well for it. Because of that, a lot of our areas are in what are considered very racist communities in Ohio and Pennsylvania. Basically, what is that considered? Eastern Ohio, Western PA area. Which brings me up to this lovely example of a POS right here. His name is Michael Scarl. Michael Scarl is 40 years old. He works for a company called Penline Services, Inc., which is a construction landscaping service based out of Pennsylvania. Uh, specifically Scottsdale, Pennsylvania. Mr. Scarl took it upon himself last summer to assault one of my drivers at gunpoint. Pull a gun out on one of my drivers for doing nothing more than being black and delivering a Timu package that his wife ordered to their doorstep. Him, his son, and a friend were sitting on the porch when one of my drivers pulled up, got out of the car. As soon as he saw that the man was black, he ran into the house, grabbed his gun, came out, beamed right down on my one of my drivers, and threatened him with it. Again, for nothing more than being black and delivering a freaking package to his doorstep. The police were called, and of course, you know, our belief is police aren't going to do anything because this is one of those types of towns where, I mean, because when the police came out, the first thing they were like, they were trying to side with it. Well, hold on, hey, man, he didn't know who you were, and blah, blah. That's no excuse to pull a gun out on somebody because they pull up into your driveway and walk towards you getting out of your car with a package in your hand. But lo and behold, we got a call today that the prosecutor decided to go ahead and press charges against him. And this fine example of a human being was picked up by Ashtabula Sheriff's Office and set with a $7,500 bond. But this is not his first time in trouble, as I took a look and found out. This man has a history of crimes, uh, stealing people's license plates. He has several charges of providing alcohol to underage to children. He likes to steal mail, and it looks like he likes to steal a lot of mail. I guess he's like the type to steal checks and that sort of stuff. Likes to steal. Uh, just a career thief. Theft, 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 theft. Theft of mail, theft. Theft of mail, dude likes to steal mail. I guess he's looking for checks and credit cards, that sort of thing. I wonder what his wife Joanne thinks of all of this. I wonder what his job, Penline Services Inc. is going to think of this. Criminal mischief, theft, theft, theft. Again, providing alcohol to minors. But these are the type of people that think they're better than black people. Why, I don't know. I mean, if you've seen where he lives, you'd be like, but you know, we'll see what happens. And again, the name of the place he works for is Pen Line Services, Inc. They are on Instagram. They are on Facebook. Let them know what you think about this.